My name is Meredith McNeil. I'm the Director of Education for Rush Philanthropic Arts Foundation. I'm also the curator of this exhibition, Justice Blind. Blind justice, which is a legal notion of fair justice, when in fact this show is not about fair justice. It is about the inequities of justice, the corruption of the legal system, about the horrifying past of this country about individuals who face an injustice and how it continues today. What I did is I took this phrase, blind justice, and turned it around, justice blind. We have videos in the exhibition. We have ceramic sculpture. There are large sculptures in the other room, a 3D quilt, which includes some non-traditional materials such as razor wire and silver spoons. Patrick has the mobile print cart, which is a printing cart that he's been taking around Queens all summer, opening up to anybody who wants to learn how to silk screen. But the content of it is also about ideas for empowering people. There's a large sculpture called Blank Scale, created by the artist Nari Ward. And it's quite large. It's the scales of justice. It's created with a wooden armature, and on top of it are used fabrics that are discernible. Shirts, doilies, blouses, the things that we wear in daily use. There is one other image of the Justice Scale by Emery Douglas, who was the illustrator in the Black Panther magazine of a child holding the Justice Scales. We are really anticipating a great year ahead of this work. This year, Rush students in all of our programs will be exploring justice in many ways. The drawings um, for Occupy Wall Street, and just looking at them and, and wondering, you know, he said that he sat through it you know, a few months just watching them and like making these drawings. I just thought there was a really nice way to record history. What's really moved me were the clay sculptures in the corridor. Just kind of the detail, the workmanship. These five pieces that you see here today are part of a series called Soldiers of Justice. It focuses on change makers and people who have done great things in the name of justice. We have Harriet Tubman, we have Sojourner Truth, John Brown, Denmark Vesey, and Frederick Douglass. These pieces are speaking to us from a distant past, but they're communicating a message which is still relevant to today. Justice is supposed to be blind. Then there is the blindness of those who are supposed to be, you know, applying the sense of justice. It's about the injustice. And the blindness is about what we do see, but we are not allowed to act upon because of a social system that sometimes seems blind. We need to look back in history. Look at not only injustices, but the people who were able to fight injustices and learn how to do that ourselves. Take those examples to heart and continue to fight injustice. And I hope that by seeing this exhibition, the viewers who come to see it will be inspired to do the same.